Hi friends, this is Anju. Hope you are doing great. Today I am going to show you how I make almond curd or almond yogurt. Almond yogurt has become popular these days. It's being used by people who want to follow a vegan diet or by people who are lactose intolerant or by people who are simply trying to restrict their dairy intake. Whatever be the reason, homemade curd is healthier than the store-bought variant. That's because it's free of additives, fillers, artificial flavors, etc. Homemade yogurt is quite cost-effective too. The best part is that we are sure of what goes into making it. Fermented foods are healthy and contains gut biome supporting probiotics. Today I will be showing you how to make thick almond yogurt using almond right from scratch. There are different methods of making it. Usually an additional thickener like sangban gum, arrowroot, tapioca, starch etc. is used to prepare yogurt from almond milk. However, I don't prefer using a thickener. I will be showing you the easiest method of making almond yogurt without using any thickeners. I am not using any starter culture either in this method. The yogurt made using this method can be consumed as such or can be used to make smoothies, raita, lassi. You can use it as a substitute in any recipe which requires the use of dairy curd. I will also show you how I prepare my healthy and yummy blueberry yogurt using my almond curd. So let's check out the recipe. For making almond yogurt, I have soaked half a cup of almonds overnight. Make sure to wash the almonds well before soaking. You may soak it overnight or for around 8 hours. Discard the water used for soaking to eliminate the phytic acid content which may act as a nutrient inhibitor. Peel the almonds. Almond peel contains tannins and may hinder nutrient absorption and also the curdling process. After peeling the almond, wash it thoroughly and transfer it into a blender. Add half a cup of water and blend it well till it is nice and smooth. You can see the texture. It's nice and smooth already. You may add more water depending on the consistency of the yogurt you prefer. All I am doing is I am blending the almonds to a smooth texture without any grits to my required consistency. I'm going to blend it for a few more seconds to make it a bit more smoother. Let's open and check. It is nice and smooth. Now I'm just going to scrape down the sides. This is essentially almond paste. I'm not making almond milk or straining the almond pulp in this recipe. The almond pulp itself acts as a thickener here. Make sure to use clean and fresh almonds and sterile utensils while making almond curd. I am transferring the paste into a glass container. Now I am going to add the stalks of green chilli on top of this. Just remove the stalk and place it on the top of the almond paste carefully. Give small slits on the green chillies and place it on the almond paste. The lactobacillus bacteria in the green chilli stock would help in the lacto fermentation of the almond paste. I am not warming this as it is already warm after all the blending. Boiling or overheating will cause it to lose all its taste and flavor. I am going to leave it untouched for around 8 hours. The time taken for fermentation would depend on the temperature conditions of the place you are in. I am going to close this with a lid which would allow air passage. If you have already prepared yogurt, you may even use a teaspoon of that as a starter instead of the green chilies. It has been around 8 hours. Let's check on our almond curd. It smells nice. I can get a faint yogurt smell. Now what I do is I carefully take out the chilies and the stalks. Take a close look, you can see the bacterial activity. So we just remove the chilies and the stalk. As we have given only a small slit on the chili, it doesn't impart any significant flavor or heat to the curd. This is nice and thick almond yogurt or almond curd. It tastes delicious and can be consumed as it is. It is best when fresh. If you are not planning to use it up immediately, you may refrigerate it and consume it within 2 days. I love making raita using this yogurt or sometimes to use it in my overnight soaked oats. 
I've got some fresh blueberries today, so I shall show you how to make a healthy and super yummy blueberry curd. Into my small grinder jar, I'm taking one tablespoon of flax seeds. I'm going to grind the flax seeds alone first. Otherwise, it might just stay as it is when I add the other ingredients. Once ground, I add a handful of fresh blueberries. Then add in any sweetener of your choice like honey or unrefined sugar, coconut sugar, anything. It's up to you. I'm going to blend it again. Looks lovely, isn't it? Now add in the fresh almond yogurt and blend it again. You may just add in everything in one go and do it if that's how you prefer. Looks amazing, isn't it? I just love this color. Let us transfer it into our serving bowl. You may garnish it with more blueberries or any other fresh fruits of your choice and enjoy it. I also like to have it along with some sliced bananas. You may use any seasonal fruit of your choice to make flavored yogurts. Strawberries and mangoes are great choices too. So our blueberry almond yogurt is ready to be enjoyed. So guys, hope you like this recipe. Please do try it out and let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such yummy recipes. So until I see you next time with another recipe, keep smiling, cook, enjoy.